gutted that I didn't pack my Tesco club card. Hello and good morning. It's a bit of an early start today. We're on the way to Zagreb train station because we're heading to Bratislava. It's going to be a long travel day, probably the longest train journey we've had so far. Our first train is to Vienna, which is six and a half hours away. And then we've got to get another hour and a half train from there. So quite a long travel day, but when we get there, we'll be able to chill out for the evening, which is nice. And another country to add to the list, Slovakia. So looking forward to that. So we're just passing to Slovenian borders and we've got another two stamps in the passport. It's a little bit annoying. It's just another downfall of Brexit, I guess. So we've made it to Vienna. It's taken a long time, so but we've managed to do a bit of work and sleep. So we're glad about that, but we've got a bit of a wait now because we've missed the tr connecting train. As we're back in Austria. Here you go. Wow, thank you. We've been seeing these in every shop across Europe and yeah. They're from here, I think. From Vienna, yeah. So, what are they even? Are they like what, chocolate wafer bars? Hazelnut ones, I think, yeah. Oh, they're like chocolate wafer bars. Yeah, they're like chocolate wafer bars. Yeah. Just tastes like a chocolate pink panther wafer. Mm -hmm. Nice, Yeah. Now into that in the ninth country of the whole trip. So, and the, uh, in this country they have Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> it's closer to home. Yeah, not really. So we've arrived in Bratislava now. We're just trying to make our way to the tram stop. So you pay for the tram on these small machines, and for 30 minutes it costs 90 cents, and you can pay with cards, so it's not too bad. I think the trams run every five minutes or so, so we shouldn't be waiting too long. I suppose mannequins do have to make the clothes look real life. So we've made it to the Airbnb, it's been quite a long travel day, so we're going to head to Lidl in a bit because and get some washing powder, because we need to do a big wash on all our clothes, because in three days we're heading to Siget Festival. Which if you didn't know is a huge festival in Budapest for six nights. So I'm gonna need all the clean clothes we can get. But first off, I'll do a bit of a room tour. So this machine here is gold dust to us because it's the first place we've been to with a washing machine. So we've got everything we need here, like an electric stove, microwave, fridge. You don't really need much more than that. The host has even kindly gave us a bottle of Coke. One thing that is a bit strange about this apartment is the lift. Sketchy old lift. Yeah. Who just wants to go up for some reason? Well, it's three stories. Okay. Like Watch how much the floor goes down. That's like a cupboard. So we're just on the way to the main square. I think it's quite a small city, this one, so we're gonna take it very steadily. We're only staying five minutes from the city centre so we can keep coming and going from our Airbnb, which is nice. Do you know what those like grey things are in the sky? No, what? I've not seen them in a while. What, what is it? I have no idea. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I almost feel like I could have got away with wearing jeans today. It's like, a t-shirt kind of weather. Yeah, 25 degrees, so. Shorts and a t-shirt. It's a little bit chilly. What, what have, what's happened to us? But before we head to the main square, we're visiting an old friend supermarket called Tesco. It's just really bizarre. We're like one of the furthest we've been from home. And there's a Tesco here. Like there's not, there wasn't one in Belgium, France, or anywhere like that. But there was, there is here. It's just bizarre. I, I just feel bewildered to be honest with you. It just feels like I'm back in in Birmingham somewhere. Today. Yeah, we found the perfect place to shelter. One thing I do really like so far about Bratislava is all colourful buildings. It's a really beautiful city. One 
thing that we have noticed here is that it seems to be very targeted towards like English people, which seems a bit strange to say, but maybe it's just for tourists and yeah, things like that. Everything seems to be in English, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, and we've seen a Scottish pub, an Irish pub, like, or English within speaking. The main, or within the main square. Yeah. We were hoping to see a bit more of what it means to be Slovakian in the city centre, where we, we haven't really got a feel for that yet. So. Maybe we'll find that a bit more on the outskirts of the city centre because at the moment it seems very touristy but it's very beautiful still. Yeah, the building is so nice. The rain then came so we sheltered for a few hours and then visited the Blue Church. It's so beautiful, it's one of the most beautiful churches I've ever seen. It's almost like Gaudi made it. So behind me is the Presidential Palace of Slovakia. So in 1993, Slovakia gained independence from Czechoslovakia. And since then, the President or Head of State has lived here. They even have palace guards here, like the ones at Buckingham Palace, except they don't wear fuzzy black hats and red suits. They wear sunglasses instead. Yeah, much cooler. So at the other side of the palace is the Presidential Gardens. It's a really nice park, actually. And it's raining again. But we found the perfect shelled spot under a tree. Right, so we came to more authenticity in the Slovak pub. And it looks like it's in the middle of a church. So we've gone for the Clastorny beer. It looks very wheaty, it's very bright, so let's see what it's like. It's very different, different to a beer I've tasted before, but it's really nice actually. On the menu we saw that they do roast potatoes, and it's been a long time since we've had some good roast potatoes, or any for that matter. So we ordered them, and this is what came. <laughs> to me, those look like potato wedges. <laughs> Can you confirm or deny? That being said, these are really good. We've not had enough potatoes on this trip, but as far as potatoes go, these are good ones. So that Slovak pub is absolutely massive. Apparently, it can hold up to 500 people, and you can see why because there's like four or five different rooms. It had like a really old feel, it, even like the wood smelled old. It felt like you were going into like a real traditional Slovakian place. So got a little bit of culture. I mean, we've only had a beer and some potato wedges, but yeah, so we've not quite uh, experienced the full culture. Hello and good morning. So we've came to Eurovia Shopping Centre because tomorrow we're heading to Siget Festival. So we've came to Decathlon to get a few things for our camping trip. Mm -hmm. We have a pre-pitched tent at Siget, but that's it. So we just need a few things to make it a little bit more comfortable, hopefully. So yeah, let's see what we find. Yeah, just in case you didn't realise, you can't bring your gun into this shopping centre, so just so you know, or, or rollerblades either, so. Right, so we've left the Cathlon. It's not been the most successful trip. Didn't quite go to plan, really, did it? No, so we've ended up with two sleeping mats. So those were like eight euros each. Um, there was no cheap sleeping bags. Well, there was one. <laughs> there was one cheap sleeping bag. It's actually just like a sleeping bag quilt, so. The bag didn't come with it, so, so <laughs> what we've us. done is just put it in a little bag and I was like, well, I'm not too happy paying full price <laughs> when I've not got an actual bag with it, so I was like, they're knocked off 5%. <laughs> what was it, 50 cents? <laughs> they got, they're knocked off 50 cents, so we We're spent like, yeah, that's great, yeah. We spent 26 euros, but... 26 euros and we've got a thin sleeping mat and one sleeping bag between us. Yeah, but the sleeping bag actually unzips to become a quilt, so... We're trying, to, we're trying to be very minimalist and not, not waste stuff, but we're going to take it with us at home anyway, so it's not going to go to waste. The side of this shop centre is really nice, it backs onto the Danube. It's a really nice riverbank. Plenty of really nice restaurants and bars and stuff out here, it's very cafes. Like modern, isn't it, like, compared to what we saw yesterday? It's just generally really nice just to have a nice stroll along this riverside. Yeah, especially because it's a lot sunnier today. It's yeah, nice we're in a lot better moods today because of the sun. Mm -hmm. It's weird how much it changes your mood. New level of happiness has been reached. Garlic baguettes. <laughs> so good. 
Right, the sun is shining and it's time for a city tour. So this is St. Martin's Cathedral and you can actually go inside the catacombs here for four euros per person. It's a huge cathedral, it's quite beautiful from the outside. So I just found out that this is the oldest street in Bratislava and then we're going to walk all the way along it and come to the narrowest street in Bratislava. Wow. I'm excited about that. Yeah. It's kind of crazy though, you just take a few steps and you feel like you're in traditional Bratislava. Yeah, everything's actually written in Slovakian and like feels more authentic, doesn't it? Yeah. So unfortunately, underneath all that deep scaffolding is St Michael's Gate. Like, a lot of things on this trip so far have been under construction mm -hmm. whilst also visited, so... Yeah, it is meant to be one of the top things to do here, though, and it's meant to be a really nice view if you can climb the tower. Yeah, but, oh well, never mind. So we've been to the oldest street in town, so now we've had to come to the oldest shop in town. So we went into the shop hoping for Slovakian delicacies and we came out with a Slovakian cola. It's called Kofola. Let's see what it tastes like. It's apparently more popular than Coke and Pepsi here. So there you go. One euro thirty it costs. So I'm not going to like that. I can tell you I'm not going to like that. It stinks. No. Smell that. It smells a bit like... Uh, it like ginger. Yeah, ginger beer, that kind oh, of smell. I know, I'm not going to like it. It's vile. It's absolutely vile. Sorry. Sorry if that's your favourite drink. Sorry if you, she's offended any, any Slovakians and it's her favourite drink. That is vile. Can you confirm? It's like ginger beer mixed with coke. Like, it's not bad. It's alright. I've, I've had ginger beer before so it's just like a weaker version of normal ginger beer. It's not too bad. Five, five out of ten. That's yours. So we're just on our way up to the top of the town hall tower. It costs three euros per person, so quite reasonable actually. The head of scientific institutes office. Interesting. Yeah. What did you just say? Is it quite like this drink? Really? You like, just pulled the most horrendous face about 10 minutes it's ago. It's like you drink it and it's not bad, but the aftertaste is horrendous. So while you're drinking it, it's not too bad. We've walked up to Bratislava Castle, it's like a 15 to 20 minute walk from the city centre. But the views of the city from up here are, are really stunning. There's been fortifications here since as early as 907 AD. So that's a very long time. It's older than you, that is. <laughs> Just about. As with any castle, I'm sure you can do a castle tour, but as ever, we're not doing it. <laughs> Just walking now along with old city walls, it's really cool how well preserved these actually are. I'd love to know how old they are to be honest, because they look like they've been here for a long, long time. Right, so we've experienced Bright Slava in day, now we're going to experience it at night. So we had a bit of a walk around, but we found a few bars, but we couldn't get any seats in them, so instead Came for ice cream. I've had the toffee ice cream. Shelley's had the lavender. Yeah, mine's really good anyway. What's yours like? I don't know why I thought it would be good when lavender is a fragrance. So it's not good. Tastes mm, like so. And so we're back at the Airbnb. So our time in Bratislava has come to an end. And tomorrow we're heading on to Siget Festival in Budapest. So that's going to be an experience to say the least. Yeah, six nights of camping. It's like I'm really excited but really nervous. Yeah, and it's our first ever festival experience. So, so we thought six days, great idea. Yeah, we're going right into the deep end. <laughs> so, Bryce Lara as a whole though, we've really liked it. I think it's much better on a sunny day than a cloudy and rainy day, I must yeah. say. And I'd say one or two nights here, like, yeah, is you, all you need. You could even come here on, on a day trip from Vienna, to be honest. It yeah. takes just over an hour, so mm -hmm. 
yeah, a, a day is just about enough, I guess. Do everything that we did today in your day in Bratislava and you'll have a good day. So onwards and upwards, on to Siget tomorrow. So hopefully we'll sleep all right on our, on our camping mat. mat. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching for our Bratislava adventures and hopefully you'll tune into our Hungary and Budapest adventures as well. So we'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.